New South Wales. Let's get back into the nuclear debate. And it's almost 18 months to the day since I first interviewed an impressive young bloke, Will Shackle. He's still in his last year at high school now, and he took the initiative to start Nuclear for Australia, promoting nuclear power as a safe and reliable energy source. And for his efforts, of course, he's copped a fair bit of backlash. He joined me earlier today from outside the Lucas Heights Scientific Reactor on Sydney's southern outskirts and reflected on his Nuclear for Australia advocacy. Well, a bit over a year now, Chris, but since then we've grown into the largest grassroots movement for nuclear power in Australia. We've got close to 50,000 supporters, uh, many, many people who have signed our petition to lift the ban on nuclear power. And I'm now really glad that we've got an expert group of Australia's leading nuclear experts, which are helping us uh, lead the way and share facts and information with people around Australia to help boost nuclear literacy and help people understand the real benefits nuclear power presents to Australia. It's been quite a ride for you while you're completing your high school studies and you went to the COP meeting in Dubai and you've got all this happening in the political debate unfolding. You must be overwhelmed by just uh, how much the issue has taken off as long with your organisation. It is. It is quite overwhelming, but I don't think it's a surprise and it shouldn't have just been me. There's been many people in Australia which for a very long time have been advocating for nuclear power. Many, many experts. Their views might have not been heard for uh, too long, but now they're finally getting a chance to speak about what they really care about. But it's been absolutely mind-blowing for me personally. Um, the fact that a majority of Australians, according to the most recent polls, support nuclear power voters from both major political parties, according to the Lowy Institute. It's really, I think, a positive development, and I think it creates a natural pathway uh, for the bans on nuclear power to hopefully be lifted. Well, it's an incredible debate to have now with Peter Dutton's announcement of seven sites, uh, seven proposed nuclear power stations in this country. It means it's going to be the central issue going up to the next federal election. Labor are locking in to oppose this. How do you see the debate playing out and what do you think the chances are that we could see a, a sweeping endorsement of both Peter Dutton and this nuclear energy policy? I think it will be interesting. Obviously, it's a very, very detailed policy. I think that was evident in the fact that the press conference went for a very, very long time. Uh, and there are certain details which are going to have to be worked out with the consultation of experts to make sure that this is the right policy for Australia and the right pathway. But it's an incredibly positive development that a, a major political party in Australia is finally committed to, first of all, lifting the bans on nuclear power, but actually developing reactors in Australia. I think the unfortunate thing is you would want to have bipartisanship in this. There is no reason why people from all sides of politics should be getting around uh, clean, reliable, always on safe electricity in the form of nuclear power. But currently they're defending a 90s era, out of touch, outdated uh, ban that was introduced on nuclear power, which restricts us from even having the option of considering it in our electricity grid. And that needs to be addressed. What we're currently seeing is instead of a fact-based, mature discussion about nuclear power, is a fear campaign orchestrated by the government uh, and their proxies in the environmental movement who have been blinded to the fact that nuclear power could really help us to decarbonise and are instead releasing misinformation uh, and trying to fearmonger, posting pictures of uh, green glowing koalas is something I saw yesterday from the Conservation Foundation. The Labor Party even had a, an AI-generated image of a nuclear power station behind the Sydney Opera House with a big mushroom cloud above it. So these leaders at the moment are not engaging in good faith and we really must have a mature discussion of nuclear power for the best future for our nation. Wise words, Will. Well, you've got the debate you wanted. Congratulations on your advocacy. We'll see where it all ends up. Thank you, Chris. Yeah, he's right. Bipartisan approach would be best, but I ain't gonna, we aren't going to see that in Australia at the moment, are we? By the way, I was down that way with my lads on the weekend uh, playing footy, so we took them to Lucas Heights to poke around and show them a real live nuclear reactor. It's been doing great work for science and for medicine in that part of the world since the 1950s, and, uh, you know, there's no three-legged kangaroos or anything wandering around there. It's time we grew up. Stick around.